even start this drink, bro. I look like a nerd. It gives like school girl. Going to class. Hey guys, my name is Janelle, and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing great physically and mentally today. It's my first video, so everybody's new. Welcome, 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 and keep on coming. So in today's video, it's going to be a review of my first year at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. You know it. Class of 2026. So yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Okay. So I'm starting off with being accepted here. Um, I applied to, I want to say, like 20 schools. I really don't didn't know where I want to go. I just applied. Like I applied to Clemson, LSU, Seton Hall, University of South Carolina, UNC Charlotte, UNC um, G. Where else? Well, a lot of places. I applied. I don't even know where I applied. Like I applied to Duke, <laughs> rejected. Anyways, um, I applied to Johns Hopkins and got waitlisted, but you know. That would have been cool. I might do med school there or something. I don't know. That's far from now. I ain't even worry about that. That's one thing you do learn. You can always change your mind. Like, I changed my major. Like, after being there for three months. Yeah. Um, College is a time for change, you know. Whew. Boy, did I change. For the good, though. For the better. Um... So starting off with my acceptance, I got accepted on January 27th. Keep in mind, COVID happened 2019. So, you know, we had the pandemic. We was out of school for my whole junior year. And that was the year of the, you know, um, SAT, ACT, the biggest year, you know, of high school. But yeah, no, um, that didn't happen for me. I went, I had one class senior year. I had executive class council and that wasn't even a class. It was a club, but it was on my schedule. Um, but yeah. So honestly, like I was, I was like surprised I got in, but like also not too, too surprised because the acceptance rate was like 21% when I had applied. It's like 26 now and I'm just like, oh wow, you know, you just letting everybody in. God, oh. Anyways, so I got accepted while, wow. okay, so it was posted that, you know, we would know when we get accepted January like 31st. So when I got that email, I was like, yeah, I'm not, I did not get in why am I getting it early I was at softball practice actually and on the way to my car because I had to go pick up my brother I look at my phone I check my email and I yelled to my coach I said Mahoney I got in and my friend had applied I was like check your check if you got in and she got in too so we was just you know practice just was basically over at that point and we just all was hype see my parents gave me a high five like they, they was like they I guess they expect that from me, but you know it's good to have high expectations for yourself. But yeah, they were just like, you did it. Yeah. Anyways, because okay, so I think on I applied through Common App, so like I did like a personal essay. I wrote about my skin condition because I have eczema, and like I used to get picked on about it in high school a little bit. Like people would be like, oh my gosh, like your skin's like you're ashy or like you're cracking. And like, oh, like your eyes, like it looks bruised. Yeah. But I wrote about that and how, you know, it made me feel, how I evolved, how I dealt with it. That was my essay. So I think I had a really good essay, but it was like only like, I did it in one day, like the day before. So yeah. Um, I had 10 clubs. So yeah, I was really involved. I had like the National Honor Society. I was in Black Student Alliance. And I was a president of like two of the clubs I was in. I was in executive class council, senior class council. And the list goes on, like, on and on. Um, I had 100 community service hours at, like, retirement homes. I did, like, softball partner things, like, with, like, like Ridge Road Middle School, like, the middle school that's associated with my high school. I went to Mallet Creek, by the way. Um, yeah. My obligation? Yeah. 100 community service hours. I had a 4.6 GPA. I was 13th in my class. So, Yeah. I mean, I guess I was smart or whatever. If they had, like, I didn't submit my SAT, personally. Like, mm-mm. Like, I had gotten, like, a 1180, 1200, something like that. Bruh. And my ACT was, like, a 24. 
Like, y'all, I'm a bad test taker, genuinely. Like, I know how to study and stuff like that and, like, do homework and, you know. But tests, mm -mm, they're not for me. They scare me. I think I get, like, bad anxiety or something. Whatever. But, yeah. Um, you know, but, like, I also saw people who didn't get in, like, they, they had this, this, and this. And I'm like, they're kind of better than me. But also, I had a, like, my essay was really good. And I, you know had a lot behind my belt, so I didn't need to discredit myself. Um, so we can go on to the next topic. Um, so topic number two, we're talking about orientation. When I tell you I wasted my money, $250, and it was required. Like you, there was no option to orientate yourself, I guess. No. Um, so I went to orientation, I want to say June, maybe. And I never toured this campus. Like, y'all, I really did not know if I wanted to go here. Look, I was going to go to UNC Charlotte. And just, I wasn't going to live at home. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, it's loud here. Um, I was going to, I got into the Honors College at UNC Charlotte, and I was going to live in the Honors dorm, you know. But... I just, I don't know. I told my dad, I said choose. And anyways, we're not gonna discuss that right now. Orientation, it was required, it cost $250 and yeah, it was not, I feel like it was not needed. It was two days, like we stayed one night over, yeah. So basically, I went with my roommate and she's been my best friend for years. Yeah, so we like planned it to make sure that we go together, blah, blah, blah. Luckily, like they like, sorted it all like i don't know 200 of us i don't know how many into groups of like like 15 groups and luckily i was with her which was great anyways so it was like a, i guess it was like a good introduction the orientation it was corny like it's what you would expect from a pwi like why are you singing a campfire song <laughs> introduction it was just like code of conducts and stuff we it was like oh like i had like that thick papers and information and clubs and like phone numbers to call for like safe walk and like the police and like a whole bunch of stuff hey, vlog. <laughs> we're just talking on candy please and I can't figure out how to configure. I don't know what configure means. I don't know how my college. Done. How are you supposed to know if it's done or not? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. I guess it was like good. Like to it was my first campus tour because, like I said, I didn't tour the campus. Um, but yeah, basically we were with an OL. They were like our orientation leader the whole time, and they had like a whole schedule. Like they gave us a time by time by time. And when I tell you they were on time. ABC happened at ABC. To this section, this place, tour this place, learn something from these people, learn something from these people. I'm tired. Organized, and I'm a really structured person, so that's like one thing that was I would say good about it, but like, yeah. But I would rate it like a six, five out of 10 experience. It wasn't like, oh my God, or like, I hate it. It was just mid. The good thing is though, like I got to see the dorm room. Oh my god, here she come, bro. I got to see the dorm room. Uh, we stayed in Carmichael, which is one of the dorms there. I'm not, y'all. I'm not sure if y'all can hear that, but this is stairs. My sister is gonna bust in here. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Bye. Get out. You get out. Go ahead. You're rejected. Say bye. Peace. <laughs> My sister is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, orientation was boring. Um, so on to the next topic. So the next topic that I'm gonna talk about is um moving in 
and housing. So there is a lot of dorms. Like, I don't know, 30? There's a lot of dorms. Anyways, there is a lot of dorms, a lot, a lot, a lot. Sorry I keep repeating that, but there was a lot. Um, so you have like South Campus, Mid Campus, and North Campus. And Main Campus is like where all your classes and all the good stuff is at. Yeah, um, so I lived on South Campus and I actually like living on South Campus because it kind of separated home and school, like, you know, cause like mid campus is just, mm, it's mid campus, it's a short walk, whatever, blah, blah, blah. North Campus, you're like beside class. I felt like that mile walk that I had to walk to class, it was like, not only was it good exercise, but it was also like, re it rehabilitated my day. Like it organized me, it says, oh, once I go here, I'm home. Cause like it's like good to have a balance you know but anyways so i lived on south campus i lived in airing house all freshmen are required to live in dorms and yeah there's like certain freshman dorms out of those 30 that i was talking about the a lot yeah so i lived in airing house and our little partner one was like corey it was like a smaller one but like a different style so mine's in my dorm i had i'm gonna put a picture in here but it was two beds that could be lofted. You had a desk in the corner, and then you had the wardrobe. So the wardrobe had, that's the, I, I took the corner, but it had a desk built into the wardrobe, a closet, a dresser and mirror, and then another closet, and that was my roommate's closet. But it was like, it was really small, but you know, it's what you expect from a dorm. And it was convenient, but yeah. So moving in, I moved in on the first day, like, no, the second day possible. I thought, you know, I didn't want to be there so early. I kind of was like, I'm going to miss my family. Now I was happy when I got there. Um, but yeah, I got there. Um, my dad and mom drove me up there. And my sister, brother, and cousin, they all came with me. I'm having regrets. Let me stop. <laughs> said, I'm having regrets. Oh, Y'all right. were here. Ah! And we had a little car ride, it was two hours, you know, I'm in Charlotte, so it's not really that far. But, um, yeah, so I did have to get a U-Haul because my dad, he has a Ford Expedition, but he was carrying all of us. And I had a lot of stuff, like, I had a bike. Like, I feel like that's self-explanatory. And I'm really, like, big on a home comfy type of feeling, like... You gotta feel like the vibe like I wanted the dorm to feel like my house here and it did for the most part um but let me tell you when we got there I was like no and it's like it was just I don't know I don't know what I expected because I like had been there for orientation but it just gave prison and yeah okay so we're in here and it's yeah. in Boy, was it a prison. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, so I got there. My parents helped me. We got all the stuff upstairs. I was on the fifth floor. Um, but I was, like, the first door. So, like, it wasn't a far walk. Like, there's, like, a long call. But I was on the first floor. So we got all my stuff into the room. It took, like, I want to say four, three or four trips. Me and Leander. She's ah! working the house. As I uh -huh. should. As I should. Are we on the ground? Oh, let's go. Open. Bye. All right, y'all the elevators are slow like even like when not everybody's moving in like i'm talking about like on a day like i'm just letting you know like either it's broke or it's slow because you have 600 people in that building and everyone's trying to use the elevator, the elevator slow like you'll have a rare occurrence like during like 1 a.m 6 a.m when nobody's up that's when the elevators always work but yeah um i say um a lot whatever so I unpacked all my stuff. My, my parents left. My sister stayed with me because she like drove up here in her car. But yeah, she stayed with me, helped me unpack all my boxes, decorated the room. We went to Target actually and bought a futon couch. Actually, it was like a last minute decision, but it was the best decision of my life. That couch got me through some tough times. That couch has so many memories. Um, yeah. But I'm gonna show you a picture of my room. I'll put it like, I don't know, somewhere in my vicinity or I might just block me out and whatever. So yeah, 
dorm room life pretty good the bathroom mm, rate three like i mean you don't do much in the bathroom you use the bathroom wash your hands and leave you shower leave i mean we had like a mat and a cur privacy curtain so like you could go in like while someone's using the bathroom brush your teeth whatever so on and so forth but yeah um there was some shower issues not gonna lie because it's one shower for eight people so timing was just crazy you know sometimes you didn't get a shower sometimes you had to wait sometimes you had to sneak your way there make sure no one heard you so you could get you know in and out sometimes people they should be in the shower for five minutes sometimes it was an hour you know it depends on what was going on but uh my sweet mates actually was okay so i was with my best friend from you know whenever and then we met two girls um we met one through the housing portal and then my roommate kind of, her mom knew our other sweet mates mom and they whatever so they got together and we were like diagonal from each other great living with them i never talked to my other sweet mates i don't recommend that i feel like you should those are gonna be your best friends but yeah dorm life was not as bad as i thought it was gonna be so yeah on to the next topic if you have any questions let me know in the comments Next topic, um, we're going to do the first week of class. So I moved in early, so I had time to, you know, get used to campus, walk around, figure out where my classes were, see what's going on. They had a lot of events going on on campus, actually. Like, there was a ice cream in the quad, and I met one of the greatest people there. By the I was like, oh my god, I like your hair. That's something you learn in college. All you gotta be is, I like your hair, I like your shoes, what's your major, you're really pretty. And you get your Insta make your friends that first week, I would say. But like, you'll build more in classes and stuff. But that first week when all these events are going on in Chapel Hill, that's when, um... I would say the best time is to try to make your friends like I know for like next when I go back um August I'm gonna be using that sentence again at the first week but ho uh, you know I want to be friends with the freshmen like I want to be friends with everybody whatever um but yeah there was a lot of activities there was like tables in the pit the pit is like right outside our student store it's where everybody be at it's like also we have a calf. It's called Lenore. It's for on North Campus. That's where that is. So everybody be in the pit around lunchtime from like twelve to three. So yeah, um, I always study there. And there's like this thing called Pit Pop and Fridays, and that's where I'm not gonna lie. The black people be turning up. They all play music, and it'll just be a vibe. Sometimes they'll have like activities going on, whatever. Um. Yeah, but there was club. It was the first week of class. It's called F Walk. So there was like tables all in the pit, clubs advertising themselves, a lot of free shirts, free buttons, pins. Like my book bag was full of buttons and stuff like that, like in the corner. Um, it was really like brightening, welcoming. Like there was Kona Ice or was it Pelicans? One of them. Whatever. But yeah, the first week of class was smooth. Like it wasn't like actually like class, class for real. Like, we were going to class. Like, it was like an introduction after the movement and then a smooth, like, roll into class type. Um, yeah, but that was cool. There was an event. Like, I'm a sports fan. Like, my brother plays sports. I played sports. My whole family. Like, we're sports-based. So, there was an event for football. It was like an introduction to the football team because, you know, this season's about to start. And it was really crazy. It was really good. Um, we saw, like, this video that they play at the beginning of every game and I'm gonna show you and they like had fireworks it was like really great it was exciting <laughs> um and that was my first time like in a football stadium like actually it's not even like the Panthers like I haven't been there and I'm like 20 minutes away why no way yeah, Boy, no way. I definitely developed a stronger love of football and sports at Carolina. Um, but yeah, long story short, first week of class was really chill, really smooth, really basic. Got me like comfortable and stuff. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. No, I'm kind of weird. 
Um, I'm bringing it back to sports because I feel like that's just a big topic. Anyways, so we're going to start with football. You know that's in the summer, fall. You know, that's the season. Um, Carolina football. Um, I actually didn't know, like, much about college football. I was always, like, an NFL football girl. But I didn't know we were good. We were, like, decent. We were, like, amazing. But, like, we were good. Like, I was like, okay, I think we went, like, 9-4. and four, And we lost couple games but you know like they had this tradition where they light our bell tower blue every time we won that was cute that was really cute let's put a picture of the bell tower in here but um i love 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 football all my friends that are on the team love you guys <laughs> for the most part um but yeah like it's just like different like i would get dressed you know my carolina gear be cute you know and if you get, I think we we usually got to the games like an hour and a half early. And we would just like try to get like the front row seats. And it was just really hype, really, it was just, it's like being alive. Like it was like so, so much different than high school football. Like that's. But anyways, that college football definitely was amazing my sister came to a couple of the games i had to sneak her in because the one thing about it though tickets were kind of hard to get i joined rams club and it's like where you get priority tickets and sometimes you don't even get those tickets and then you have to enter the general lottery and pray you get one of those i was at like seven out of the 12 like 12 or so games so i'm not one to complain but yeah those tickets it's a hit or miss for real. My friend, I think she only got like two. I was like, dang. And I'm a fan. Like, I'll buy a couple tickets. But anyways, yeah. I love, 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 love Carolina football. Um, I actually got a job this year as a football recruiter for like the high school students. Like, working with them. Like, giving them a tour of the facilities and stuff like that. I'm actually doing like a joint photography like headshot type thing maybe like a video but we're gonna see how that goes i'm really excited for that job actually um yeah so let's look at my notes um uh, basketball mm. Mm -mm -mm. i'll start with the good i've never been a lot of people who go to chapel hill like are like diehard fans that wasn't me the dean dome is so worth the hype we had like this flashlight thing I don't know what it was but I'll show y'all a video Like, it just, like, amazed me. Like, it was so, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But just seeing, like, you see all these people like Caleb Love and um, Ari Davis, Armando Baycott. I see them every day walking around like they're normal people. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Like, I went to one of their parties, like, at their dorms. Like, one of, whatever, or their house. I was just like, y'all are normal people. But anyways it's exciting like it's like a thrill it's a rush like seeing like the scoreboard and the jumbotron and everything yeah that was just a really cool experience i went to two games and you actually have to do the lottery for those tickets as well but like once i saw that we weren't doing too hot this year like we didn't even make it to the sweet 16 that's how you know and like mm, not the sweet 16 that's kind of I'm not going to speak too much because, yeah, you know, stuff happens, so on and so forth. But, yeah. Um, I did sell one of my tickets for, like, 100 bucks. So, I'm not sure if we're supposed to do that. I think, I actually, I know a couple of people who sold their ticket and got in trouble. Like, they got banned for the year. But, like, by that time, the season was over. So, I won't be doing that this year. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, well, I also went to like other sporting events like <laughs> non-mainstream. Like I went to a soccer, I mean, it's not like not important, but you know, not my fave two, fave three. Um, I went to baseball games because I do play softball. I went to one softball game, but the um, park is kind of far. It's two miles um, off campus, so it was like, you know, hard for me. I'm really big on it. I want to like try to do a manager or something, but it's just inconvenient. I get to bring my car next year, so I just know for sure that I will definitely be going to more. Um, I went to baseball, softball. I went to soccer. I went to one lacrosse game. Our lacrosse is really good. Yeah. Anyways, they have like so many championship titles. Um, I went to volleyball. I went to like some like club sports too, like intramurals, and those were actually kind of interesting as well. And some of my friends played like club basketball and stuff like that, so I went to those. Um, so I think that's about it on sports. So let's get to the next topic. So now I'm going to talk about what needs to be said. The dining hall. Okay, so we had two dining halls. Lenore, which was on North Campus, and my favorite, Chase, which is on South Campus. It was like five minute walk from my dorm. Um, really convenient, really, um, you know, quick walk. It was open Monday through Friday from... 8 8 no 7 a.m because you have class at 8 7 a.m till 12 a.m and it's like sections of the day they serve certain things like there's like this thing that i hated called light lunch where it's like only salad pizza and stuff like you didn't get any like heavy foods and stuff but you know and then we also had late night which was like after nine and stuff like that we had pizza fries nachos all the good stuff but yeah love 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 chase the smoothie bar the there's just it's just cozier and like I said earlier, I'm a cozy person. It's more chill vibes, not so busy and yeah. Um, Lenore, the top of Lenore. Me and the top of Lenore, can, it's like two stories. So me and the top of Lenore, where like the dining hall is, we, we, we don't go together. Mm -mm. The food, okay, the pizza in my opinion is less than... I'm not sure if that's proper English. It's not as good as Chase's Pizza. Um, yeah, it was just mint, and I thought it was kind of dry. Um, it's, yeah, Chase, um, Lenore just didn't really do it for me. I would go up there for, like, the little pasta section, but, like, besides that, not my, like, favorite. Like, I probably went to Lenore not more than, like, 100 times for the whole year. Chase was definitely it for me. Yeah, but the bottom of Lenore is good. Like, that's where we get our, like, fast food, I would say. So, like, there was, like, this Mediterranean, I don't know how to say that, Mediterranean food. There was Chick-fil-A, you know, I was always there. There was this Mexican bowl. It was kind of like a Chipotle type, and it was good. Like, I really like that, and I don't, like, really picky eater. Um, we had Bandito's, which is, like... Kind of similar to Chipotle, but it was just good. It was off the, off the chain. Um, yeah. But, you know, your basic little fast food restaurants were downstairs, and you had to use, like, a plus swipe. Um, meal plans at um, Chapel Hill was quite expensive. I got the Unlimited. I do recommend that freshmen get the Unlimited plan. I know it's expensive. I'm pretty sure it's, like, 2500 a semester. But hear me out. I go to the cafs to study. I like to eat what I want, especially since I work out. Like, I try to make sure I balance my diet and stuff like that. And it's just more convenient when you know you don't have to be like, oh my god, I only have this many meal swipes left, so on and so forth. The unlimited plan is, I shouldn't be advertising. I'm not like a sponsor, nothing, guys, I swear. But I definitely say go for the unlimited meal plan. Next year, I'm not getting one. I'm living off campus, and I'll be doing meal prep. So, yeah, not doing that. But I'll show some pictures I have, if any, of the dining hall food. I would give it a 6 to 7 out of 10, but, you know, because, you know, you had to season your own stuff. Like, one time I brought my own. I brought walrus, no like, seasoned salt, and I brought no jerk seasoning. 
Boy, ain't no way, boy. But besides that, it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. It was something to eat. Um, the only good thing about Lenore, I have to add, this was like when they had this like occasional late night at Lenore. That's when like they had music and like we had a Hawaiian theme night and they'll have like a candy bar and Hawaiian food and it's really cute. Like one time we had, I don't remember the theme, but there was like a s'mores pizza and oh it was a fair night, a carnival night. We had s'mores pizza, we had fried pickles, onion rings, and stuffed Oreo. I think it was stuffed Oreos or like funnel cake. I don't know. But it's really, like, that was really cool. That was really fun. I love that. And the lines were so long. Like, you have to be there 10 minutes before it's going to open. Because late night at Lenore never happens. It's only late night at Chase. But late night at Chase is just normal. Late night at Lenore. Okay, so we are on to another topic. Um, we're doing Franklin Street. So Franklin Street is two miles from south campus where i lived but maybe like a mile from north campus you know you get all your food you know mcdonald's chipotle and there is like this place called purple bowl i think i got like i went there one time it was pretty good um ben and jerry's you got pizza you got cook um crumble cookies insomnia um spicy nine which was like a I don't, tuna place but not like a tuna spicy like sushi i can't eat sushi i had chicken lo mein or something there i went there with my friends um quechula that's a mexican bar a tequila bar that's really good um whole lot of food on franklin street but yeah street but yeah I don't think there's that many activities, but there's places to shop, you know, for Carolina gear and things like that. There's like, you know, a little shopping. It's like a little downtown Chapel Hill, whatever you want to call it, but it's cute, whatever. Um, there's like this one club called Buena. I think they call it Vibes now, but I went there like a couple times. It's, it's decent, you know, decent little place to vibe out on a Friday, Saturday night. But that's about it for Franklin Street. I didn't get to have the Duke versus Chapel Hill Storm Franklin Street experience because we lost by like one shot. But we're not going to get into that. <laughs> okay, we're back with another topic. Transportation. I kind of do need to go over this. Freshmen could not have their cars. Some of my friends had their cars, but I think they parked it at like their like cousins or somewhere. I don't know where they parked it. It was like just a few. Athletes, they found a way. Because you know that athlete privilege. That's why you gotta be friends with them. Anyways. Um, we have like 12 buses. Um, but the main, I would say three that I used was the RU, U, and NU. Um, I can't say much about the bus routes. But there is an app that tracks them. It's pretty accurate, but I would say that RU is always late, so it's a hit or miss with that one. But you'll get used to it. Um, I definitely got lost. I got on, I think the 800 bus, because it took me to, I worked, it took me to my workplace. But then it went past my stop and kept going. I got lost. I cried. It was It was a really rough day. Um, so you definitely do have to Uber a lot of places. Like, I Ubered, like, we had parties on, like, Friday and Saturdays. I Ubered to every house party or found a ride somehow, some way. But, yeah. Not even Uber. Uber is expensive. Lyft. I do recommend using Lyft instead of Uber. Unless you can find a really cheap Uber. Uber. But, like, at 2 a.m., stuff like that, Uber was, like, $65 for, like, seven miles what do, I, what do i look like rich i'm a college student but anyways um back to dining hall foods the dining hall closed earlier on the weekends which was crazy so i did use doordash i could definitely say i spent at least a thousand dollars on doordash but yeah transportation was kind of <laughs> fine it was booty um yeah that's all i can really say about transportation 
find you somebody with a car, like, and pay them gas money, because that was really bad, but for groceries, I did Walmart delivery, I paid $99 for the year and got my stuff delivered, which was not bad, or Instacart, you know, let everybody be a Walmart girly like me. The Target on Franklin Street, back to, like, that last topic, it's really small, and it doesn't have anything. There's a super target, like, 4.5 miles off campus, and it's, like, a super target. So, that's the only places I would go at. But, yeah. Next topic. Anyways. So, next topic we're doing. This is going to be really short. This is just location. I feel like the location is... Pretty crappy if you're not on campus or Franklin Street there's nothing like everything's four to five miles away and it's just really inconvenient it's pretty mid everything's in Durham Raleigh and yeah like we don't have anything yeah like maybe okay I can't I, okay I could counteract what I was gonna say maybe it's because I haven't had a car and had time to explore the only thing that I've been to that's not bad is our mall, South Point. I don't want to mix it up because, okay, yeah, South Point because South Park is here. South Point is a good, it's a pretty decent mall. It's not the best. Like, I've seen better. Like, I would say South Park is definitely better than South Point. But it's like, it's cute. It's like, we went to a restaurant for my friend's birthday dinner. I think it was, I don't remember the name, but it was really cute. And, you know, it's a basic little mall. But that's also Durham. It's not Chapel Hill. So I feel like this year I'll get to explore more. And <clears throat> Whoa. I'll get to explore more and stuff like that. But yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, next topic. Okay. Now for like the actual educational part, I guess. Um, so classes and like resources. Um, I am now an exercise and sports major and a sportsman minor, and I'm actually interested in what I've been learning recently, and it's, like, gotten me so excited. I was a bio major, and, like, I went to my academic advisor, and, which is a resource that we have, and I was just like, what, I, I don't want to do anything with biology. Like, with biology, I'm either gonna be, like, a teacher, researcher, or doctor, like, I would have to be, like, a doctor and, like. I'm going, I plan to be a doctor. I want to be an OBGYN or orthopedic surgeon types stuff. Um, but I want to have options as well. So he was like, yeah, um, and what are you interested in? And asked me a whole bunch of questions and things like that. And it was really convenient. It really helped me like kind of like get my life together. I took 17 credit hours first semester and 15 second semester. Um, I actually want to say my first semester was way easier. I took, I don't remember the classes exactly, but something about Chapel Hill, these gen eds are horrible. Like, they're so bad, and your gen eds are actually harder than the classes where your major is centered. Like, because there's no way that, like, I got better grades in my, well, I mean, it's something you're interested in, but, like, really interrupted. Part two. That's what I was saying. The gen ed sucked. I took humans in the cosmos. Like, it was a... We have a new curriculum. It's called Ideas in Action. And there's, like, first year foundations and focus capacities and so on and so forth. And there's, like, a bunch of classes we have to take under each. And so I was doing my triple I requirement, and I did humans in the cosmos. Don't take it. I'm adding her because I did not like her, and I hope you guys don't take her. Her name is Molly. Do not take that class. Do not take Humans and the Cosmos. And I would say it one more time, just in case y'all paused the video, wasn't looking, or an ad cut in. Do not take Humans and the Cosmos. That class sucked. I took... Um, oh, in fall, I did make the Dean's List, which is a big achievement for me. So I was really happy about that. But anyways, back to the last semester, our spring semester, which flew by. It's like way quicker than fall. But um, I took 
I haven't like I just forgot about school for real. I took anatomy. I took weight training. I took African American equality, gender, marriage, another gen ed. I barely passed. Um, I had another core class. I took English. Mm. And one more bad at this i'll just like write a list of all my classes and i'll just put it there but yeah um overall it wasn't terrible but like i skipped some of the lectures because some like especially humans and cosmos like you have to figure out your best study habits when you should attend the lectures when you shouldn't when you should take your time and do your homework and things like that but yeah something that is good about the campus is there's a lot of libraries like a lot um my favorite library was davis is really is i think it's our biggest one it's gotta be um so davis library is right beside lenore um it has eight stories and there's like a sixth floor and that's like a silent floor like you you don't want to talk like if you get caught talk people will give you such a side eye but anyways yeah it was really cute. I stayed on the bottom because like it was like where most people got like you know, you could talk, have a conversation, stuff like that. But it was just nice, calming, you know. Made me feel real school girly, real smart. Um, there's also study rooms on every floor. That was, I got a study room a couple times and I got it with my friends. It was really nice. It has like erase boards and stuff like that. So it was a good place to study. We also have the undergraduate library, they call it the UL. Um, I don't really study there that often. I went probably a couple times to take a nap. But besides that, no. Anyways, I got distracted. And then there's Wilson. Let me tell you about Wilson. Wilson is like where all our archives and oldest like history stuff is. That library is so beautiful. But when I tell you I will never study in there, I went in there one time and it's so quiet and like I like play music and like sometimes you can hear my music that's not the library for that um but if you need that senior scenery that's definitely where I would go um there's just a lot of study spots sometimes you can study in the student store on the third floor I went there often there's Grand Memorial I went there there's a student academic service building right across from Erring House where I stayed we call it E-House if you're living in Corey, Horton, Hojo, or even Craig, the Student Academic Center is very close to you. Um, Campus Health, they didn't do much, but you know, it's a good resource to have on campuses. You always have to have an appointment for the most part, but they do accept walk-ins. Um, besides that, I don't think there was any more resources that I really use, but basically there's a resource for everything. There's a librarian. There's a we have CAPS, which is like a mental health like program. Um, I went. It wasn't my favorite, but I know some people who actually have a good experience. I went somewhere else, but yeah. If you have any questions, drop those in the comments as well, and I'll try. No, I won't try. I will answer every single one. So we're back with the next topic. Okay, so a topic that I can say I am decently versed in is our parties. Okay, so I did not go to rap parties at all. I've heard they're really bad and I'm really scared of them. And yeah, I avoid them by all costs. My friend did invite me to one and I was just like, no, I can't go. And like you kind of like needed a wristband to get into almost all of them so like it just wasn't my scene personally but I did go to our D9 parties that we that was held um the first party of the year during F walk the alpha party it was gr definitely one of my favorites I love the vibe so many people and it set the like tone for my year and like how I wanted to spend it not like partying and stuff but like the energy like my expectations like for future parties and like so on and so forth but 
um, elaborating to the Dean, like the house parties that I did go to, um, they were full, people were there, it was decent music, you know, could do a little dancing, booty throwing, whatever you wanted to do, getting down, dancing with who you want to dance with, nobody gonna say nothing, some people would though, so watch who you're around. Um... <laughs> definitely i had my good share of parties so if that is something that you're can like worried about chapel hill we we know how to party on occasion um i do recommend house parties over clubs i just feel like you don't get the same vibe but speaking of clubs we're gonna talk about an organization that throws parties top notch so Top Notch holds most of the parties in Chapel Hill, which are not known to be so great. Yeah, um, a lot of my Top Notch parties that I have attended, they can be, a, they're a hit or miss. Like, I just feel like the problem with us is like, everyone's like ill Top Notch, so like, they don't go. But if everyone chose to go, it would be lit, like. <laughs> I don't like any of the locations for real except 919. That location is not bad. Like I ho I hosted my birthday party there. Like I, I could show y'all my little flyer. I was little, it was a little cute, whatever. Like there has been events that that place has been packed and like I've had many adventures, met many people at those clubs. But you know, like I said, Top Notch has a bad history, bad wreck. I feel like it's not terrible, but mm, you try to stay away. You only go to Tom Notch when there's not really a house party or like a bigger event that you want to attend. But yeah, that's all I can really say about parties. Um, maybe I'm not going into enough detail, but I could show you any videos that I do have if I could find any. If not, just ask any questions in the comments and we're on to our next topic. Y'all, we're at the last topic, last and final topic. Um, so I'm talking about the last day of class, L Doc. You know. Okay, so the day before the last day of class, the weather said it was gonna rain, and like I've heard from seniors and upperclassmen, and they were like, "Oh my God, L Doc, I'm so excited! It's drunk and high people." All over main campus and there's parties and there's so much to do and it really intrigued me I like I was like wow like I just came out of high school like I'm not used to like all that stuff um it like was like the event like that everybody had been waiting for you skip class everyone was drunk and high in the pit clapping it up at 9 a.m. so we saw the other and I think like but I don't know who organizes it. I don't know nothing about that. But there was like a whole schedule of activities to do. Rescheduled to like straight indoors. Come to tomorrow. Like come to the next. Come to LDOC. It doesn't rain. It's actually sunny. But I had one at Starbucks. My friends like they were asleep. They were lame. Actually they were supposed to go to class and never went. I was like, oh, because they said they wanted to go to class. I got Starbucks, did a little studying before, you know, all the festivities. And then I went to class, got attendance because there's like a participation assignment in my. Oh, that's one of my classes, psych. Duh. Anyways, I went to psych and left after three minutes. Like I went back and I did this for like, I got invited to a, um, 
it was like a dorm little thing, kickback or whatever, from my upperclassman friend, and there was like a <laughs> container of whatever that drink poison. Like I think it was Q juice. I don't know what it was, but yeah. Um, so I called my friends and I was like, y'all, we gotta go over here. So they got ready and I went to go get them. At this time I had my car. Um, I had found a way to park it because, you know, gotta find your hacks. And I can't tell y'all my secret, sorry. But yeah. So, I did, I went to go get them. We went back to the kickback. I refilled my drink. Everyone else got their drinks. We chopped it up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That was just the beginning. And I have to change my battery because this is going to die. So we're going to cut it real quick. Okay, guys. Sorry for the brief intermission. But as I was saying, so the pit, um, all the D9s came to stroll. smoking and everybody was drinking everybody had borgs and all type of stuff everyone had a different drink in their cup yeah so by that time i'm not gonna say what happened but yeah it was it was mm -hmm. so me and my friends we went to mcdonald's we just ate some fries had vanilla shakes and went back took a nap because we went to sleep because there was a whole lot planned for the rest of the night so like there was no way like we ain't got ooh we got invited to a um kickback at the basketball players door so we got our nap in got up and i don't remember what we did after that but i think we just started getting ready because by that time it was like five or so so we started getting ready so after the kick back at the basketball player dorm, we were supposed to go to Freak Nick. So outfits were cute. They, they were so cute. Um, there's not much details I can add about it, but the kickback was definitely way better than the party. Um, it was so hype, top tier. Um, like, I'll show you a video. Anyways, but we had our fun. It was lit. It was vibes, lighting. And then from that cake back, I think it was like 11, we went to the party. But that party, however, was packed, like flooding the street. The cops did come. I'm not sure if, actually, yeah, no. The, okay, they told everybody to get out. And that just, and the lights were on in the house. So that just like killed the vibe. So I was just like, no. They were telling everybody to get out. But then... I like got word from my friends that they were still throwing the party and I'm just like what the heck because at this time I was walking back to my car and he was like no I'll come back I did not go back because guess what 15 minutes later the cops pulled up like I knew mm -mm. so from there we went to top notch we went to 919 um, because at that point it, the night it was L Doc. the night was not over we were determined to have a great night and top notch did his thing actually like for once see like i said it's a hit or miss it was good we had our fun had our dance we got to the stage you know pretty girl privilege always coming in clutch that's something i can say use it while you can especially my black queens love you guys um 
Also, to top that off, it was like 2 a.m. So they did kick us out because they do close at 2. So we was just like not tired. And we heard that another house party was happening. So we drove over there. And as soon as we got there, the cops showed up. So by that time, it was time to wrap it up. I think we got something to eat. I think we got cookout and we laid it down and started setting for finals the next day. Well, yeah, let's just say that. But that's all I got on all my topics. So, yeah. If I give my first year an overall review, I give it a 7.8 out of 10. Um, I think I had a good balance of where, like, school and social life, especially second semester, and to socialize more because, you know, it's, it's important to network and talk, you know, and just put yourself out there because you never know what will happen. So, yeah. But I am really enjoying college. I am glad I did go to Chapel Hill. I do miss home. Don't, my, I can't like let my parents know that. I'm pretty sure they do, but I do miss home and stuff. But I'm already excited to move in next semester. I'm ready to see like what the future holds, I guess. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. So thank y'all for watching. And I hope you guys come back for my next video.